Tired of generic headlight restoration kits that don't seem to get your headlights clear no matter what potato you use? Call Revitalites and get the job done right the first time. Friends, welcome to another episode of Auto Afflicted. I'm your host, Ali Goulet, and today I'm here with Aaron from Revitalites. He's a professional mobile headlight restorer, and we're going to be doing the Porsche Cayenne headlights today. I'm going to show you what to do and what not to do the way a professional would. Let's get into it. <laughs> So like I said, I'm here with Aaron from Revitalites. We're going to be restoring the headlights on Pepper, the Porsche Cayenne. He's going to show you, uh, you know, the right ways to do things and give you a little insight on how the pros will do it. And then we'll get to see just how good the end result is. So when it comes to restoring your headlights, there's lots of DIY options that can have varying results. And for me, it comes down to time and money. So you know, if I got to tool up and get all the equipment and the learning curve to do it right, that could be hit or miss for me. And that's really where Aaron comes in and revitalites. He's a pro. He's served more headlights than McDonald's. And so that's really what I want is someone with professional skills and attention to detail doing my headlights. So we're going to show you now sort of the techniques so you can get up to speed on your own learning curve. If you want Aaron to come visit you in the Salt Lake, Greater Salt Lake area, all his information is going to be down in the description so you can contact him. And um, without further ado, let's get into it. The first step I like to do is I like to do a wet sand with like a 2000 grit sandpaper. You do the wet sand so that the sandpaper doesn't actually clump up with anything that you're lightly sanding off. And I only apply enough pressure to actually hold the sandpaper on the headlight. I do not press down on it at all. Usually you want to go one direction. So you want to go horizontal because the next thing that you'll do, you'll go at an angle to blend in any blemishes that you might put in. So the next step I take, I have a 3000 grit buffing pad that I'll use and I'll soak it up with the water just because you don't want it clumping up. I'll do circular motions in case there are any teeny abrasions from doing the 2000 grit that I used earlier. Again, this is all done by hand and hardly any pressure applied at all. If you apply too much pressure, you're gonna put a lot of abrasions in the plastic. Typically, I don't use the drill kits from uh, AutoZone or, or any of the auto parts places just because I've been to people's houses where they were using the kits and they actually held them in one spot too long and burned oh. little half moons in them when they were sanding too hard. So. I prefer to do this part by hand because I can feel exactly how much pressure I'm putting on it and I don't have to worry about, you know, getting the headlight housing overheated and melting it anywhere. So the next step I'm going to do, I'm going to take my Orbital DA polisher. I've got a high high grit uh, wheel polishing wheel on here and some polishing compound and I'm going to apply it to the headlight. I'm going to make sure that when I do it, I'm not sticking the polisher in one specific spot too long because you can heat up the lens and damage it. So the last step I do after polishing them up is I like to just apply turtle wax. It kind of protects the headlights a little bit from the sun and it also repels the water. So you just put it on just like you're waxing your car and then wipe it off with a good cloth and it'll make it shine. So now that we're done, I've applied the, the turtle wax to give it a nice smooth feel. Um, 
these didn't turn out perfect because there are some water spots on the inside of the lens just due to age and maybe the seals aren't uh, you know sealing everything off you can see some moisture in here still it's, uh, yeah these turned out pretty nice it's just you can see little bits of stuff behind the lens now we're gonna fix up these headlights on this Subaru that's sitting out here just so you can see what kind of difference it'll make on some of these older headlights too the results sometimes vary just depending on what is happening with the lens sometimes it's not completely sealed but we'll see what we can get out of this one too so now we're done with the Subaru headlights <clears throat> these turned out really nice there's still teeny little uh, uh, bumps on here where probably pebbles have hit but the inside of the headlight looks really sealed so there's no moisture and there's no spotting it's just uh, yeah these turned out super clear all right, so there you go, friends. Kind of the quick and dirty on headlight restoration. Super thanks to Aaron from Revitalites for running us through this and showing us uh, you know, what we can expect and kind of the best ways to do it. As I mentioned, his contact info is gonna be here in the description. He prefers to be uh, contacted through Facebook. Millennials, if you don't have Facebook, uh, SOL, right? What are you gonna do? But uh, again, Aaron, thanks so much. I love how it turned out. Um, friends, get your headlights restored. It's not just about how shiny they look. It's really more about how much light you've been losing while your headlights are crusted up like someone with a bad case of conjunctivitis. It's just not nice. Treat yourself right. Treat your headlights right. Hit up Aaron with Revitalites. And, you know, as ever, we're going to close this out by saying love the ones you're with, respect your neighbors and their cars. Even if you don't like someone's build, like my mom said, if you've got nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. And we'll catch you on the next one.